What's up guys, how's it going and welcome back to another match betting tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about placing and laying accumulator bets. Accumulator bets, also known as ACCAs, crop up quite often when it comes to the match betting world, so it's important to know how to get these done. It follows the basic principle of backing and laying, however there's a few extra layers on top of this. If you aren't familiar with how to back and lay a bet, you should watch these videos here and then come back to this video. Just want to point out one caveat of this video is that it's been uh, filmed and produced during the off season of the football, which means one, there are not as many selections available to us as there normally are, and two, that the qualifying losses are higher than normal. With that being said, let's get straight down to it. Okay, so first things first, what is an ACA? Simply put, an ACA is one bet that is made up of a number of selections, all of which need to be correct in order for the bet to win. So for example, if I pick all of these selections here, all of them must win in order for the overall bet to win. So the reason why ACCAs are so popular amongst the betting community is that the odds of each of these selections are multiplied against each other rather than just being added together in order to form the total odds of the bet. This means that you can win a lot more than if you placed all of these bets separately, but of course the risk of losing is much higher. But this doesn't matter to match bettors, we just need to know how to lay them off. Now, there are three main types of offers when it comes to accumulators. The first is a simple bet and get. For example, bet £25 on an accumulator and get a £25 free bet. Sometimes you have to use the free bet on an accumulator and sometimes you can use it on anything, so it really depends on the offer that you're doing at the time. The second is a weekly bet and get. Pretty much the same as the offer just described. However, this time you must stake a certain amount of money on ACCAs during a set period, so for example, from Monday to Sunday, in order to gain a free bet at the end of that period. The third type of offer is an ACCA insurance, or simply known as a refund. In most cases, this is something along the lines of place an accumulated bet, and if just one selection loses, get your stake refunded as a free bet, which happens a lot more than you would imagine. If none of your selections lose, or more than one of them lose, you won't get a refund. In all cases, we are using a, um, the free bet to our advantage in order to make a profit. Now you do need to be vigilant when placing accumulators. Most offers require a minimum amount of selections, minimum odds per selection, minimum odds overall, maximum stake, as well as only being able to bet on certain leagues. It can be a combination of these or just one, so you do need to double check. However, Profit Accumulator will do this for you and tell you the requirements for each offer anyway. You can sign up for a free trial with Profit Accumulator using the link in the description. Before I move on to demonstrate finding your accumulator bets, please take two seconds to hit the like button if you are enjoying this video so far, and make sure that you join my Facebook group through the link in the description so that you can get access to my free profit tracking spreadsheet as well as other exclusive hints and tips. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to find your ACCAs. But first things first, you need to make sure that you leave enough time in between your selections and that none of them take place at the same time or are overlapping times. I will explain why shortly. Anyway, there are three ways to find your bets. The quickest and most efficient way is to use Profit Accumulator's ACCA Catcher. This can be used when trying to find a bet for an ACCA insurance offer, when you're trying to find uh, um, something to place your free bet on, or when trying to find a qualifying bet for a weekly bet and get. Not only will the ACCA catcher find you the best bets with the lowest qualifying loss, it will also ensure that the selection it presents you will meet the criteria of the selected bookmaker and the offer that you are completing, as well as ensuring that none of the selections overlap. Now, the ACCA catcher is laid out in a similar way to the odds matcher, which I described in my match betting explained video. So, for example, you can select your bookmaker from here, and you can select different filters in here. So, for example, you can limit the betting exchanges that it shows you. Um, and then we move down here, so you can select the ACCA type that you are doing. So, you can do a sequential, which is what you'd use most of the time. A non-sequential, this is very, very rarely used, so I'm not going to go into this. And you can use a 12-hour sequential ACCA, which basically means that there's going to be 12 hours in between each of your selections. Um, you can also choose um, whether or not you want to filter the leagues down to all leagues or whether it's just popular leagues, so for example the Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga. And then down here you can also filter for the bet type, so ACCA Insurance, Free Bet and Qualifying Bet. 
and also looking at match results markets only. So for example, if you select no, it will also show you things like under 2.5 goals or both teams to score. So it's up to you what you want to set your filters on. Down here, you can see all of the selections that it's given us. So here we can go straight into the calculator, for example. It tells us that EV, which is basically the average profit that you would expect to make over time using this bet. It will show you the qualifying loss. Of course, as always, we want to keep this as small as possible. The free bet rating, which if you are using a free bet to place this ACA, that is how much of that free bet you will have returned. The events, so it just tells you what selections you'll be making. The bookie, the total back odds, the total lay odds, and the start and the end date of this bet. So if we go into the calculator, you can see it's already pre-populated. You've got your bookie up here. This tells you the terms of the offer, so the offer that McBookie have. And then all already inputted are the selections. Um, so you've got the date of the event, the event that you're betting on, the bet to make, so we'd put a bet on Brazil here, the link directly to the website and to the bet, a link to the exchange, and then the back odds, the lay odds, the commission, and the lay stake, all of which you can manually alter. And then if we go down here, we can see the different modes that you can select to put the calculator in. So if this was going to be your initial accumulator in order to qualify for a free bet, you'd leave it in the qualifier mode. If you were placing a accumulator in order to lock in a refund, um, you'd use the refund lock-in mode, but I'm gonna go into that in a bit more detail later on. If you were using the accumulator to place a free bet, you'd select this mode, which essentially turns the um, calculator into SNR mode which I kind of explained in one of my previous videos. Um, and then late all, this isn't used much anymore, so I'm not gonna go into that today. Um, backstake, you can um, manually alter the backstake. So if you didn't wanna place the maximum stake of the offer, you can change this if you wish to do so. Um, and then also depicted is the total odds um, combined, the expected value of the offer, and the profit and loss, as well as the variance. Now you don't really need to worry about what the variance means, just that if it's green, it's good. If it's red, it's bad, basically. And then down here, you've got the chances of, of something happening. So the chances of none of these selections losing, just one of them losing, or two or more of them losing. Um, and as mentioned before, the chances of just one losing um, occurs a lot more than you would imagine. And we can go into advanced settings. And here you can see bonus retention rate. That's only important when you're placing a refund lock-in. Um, it's basically making an, an assumption of how much you will make back from your free bet. And as always, we like to stick this in about 80%. Um, and these two boxes here, you don't need to worry about as they're not used very much. Um, and here I can actually click to enable email alerts. So basically 15 minutes before each of these games kick off, I'll get an email alert reminding me to place my lay bet. Um, which is very handy because sometimes when you've got a lot of games going on, a lot of accumulators, it can be quite easy to forget. Um, here I can select to toggle the laid column, which basically gives me a checkbox so that I can select, give myself a visual reminder as to whether I've laid the bet or not. And here the show liability column is what it is, um, basically just tells you the liability of that lay stake. I can then save this ACA so that I can come back to it, so if I call this test. Save to add my ACAs, close the calculator, and then I'll find the same accumulator here. So I can revisit it at a later date. The second way to find your accumulator bets is to find each selection one by one using Profit Accumulator's odds matching tool. This is the best method for finding ACAs when doing just a standard bet and get offer. This is because the ACA catcher tailors its results to find selections that meet the terms and conditions of the refund offers which can be different to the T's and C's of the bet and get offer. But be careful, you will need to make sure for yourself that your selections meet the T's and C's of the bet and get offer. Now here's one that I made earlier. Um, it's for bet victor and you can see the selections here. But let's assume that I need to add one more selection to this ACA. So what I can do is I can head over to the odds matching tool, select bet victor, select my filters and then see what results it gives me. Now this one here at the top, Andorra versus France, is pretty attractive to me because um, the rating is very high and it doesn't overlap with the times of my other selections. Now let's assume that the odds um, do abide by the terms and conditions of this offer. So what I can do is I can go into the ACA calculator and I can add a leg. 
I can select the date, which is the 11th of June. Select the time, which was 7.45. And then you add in the event. You then need to check the bet that you need to make, which in this case is France. And then we need to enter the back and lay odds, which are 1.02 and 1.03. And I don't receive, I don't pay any commission for Smarket, so I can put a zero in there. As you can see, this is updated my total odds, gives me my profit and loss, as well as the EV and variance. Now the last and least efficient method is to find your bets one by one by comparing the odds at the bookie to the odds at the betting exchange manually. Again, bearing in mind the T's and C's of the offer. So for example, if I was looking for Bet Victor again, I'd just have a look at their matches and pick a game at random. So for example, USA versus Venezuela. I'll then go over to the betting exchange and find that market. And then I'll basically just eyeball the odds to see whether or not I think they match up well. Um, and just having a quick look, I don't think they match up too well, so this is, wouldn't be a bet that I would choose. So as you can see, this is kind of a bit like trial and error, and it can be a very time-consuming process to find some selections that do actually work. Once you do find selections that work, you would just pop them into the ACA calculator like we just did. Okay, so now you've found your bet, you need to go and place it. This is one that I put together earlier for Bet Victor, so I'm going to head over to their website now. Now what you need to do is you need to select all of your bets and they will appear here in your bet slip. Then you need to make sure that the odds are correct and are in line with what you have in the calculator. If they differ to what you have in the calculator, you just need to update it accordingly. So that's what I've done. So since putting this bet together, my odds have changed, so I've just updated the figures that, in my, that are in my calculator. Once you've selected all your bets, you'll then scroll down here and you'll see a few more options within the bet slip. It's very important that you select the right bet here. So if in this case it's fivefold because we've got five selections and it's got a one next to it which means we're just placing one bet. The ones with five or ten next to it you need to avoid as this means you are placing five bets. So all you do is you put your stake in this box here, scroll down to the bottom, I'm accepting changes here as the odds changed and then you just go ahead and place your bet. Once this is done it's time to place your first lay bet. So head back to your ACA calculator to find out what your first selection is. In my case, it's Brazil versus Honduras, and I need to place a lay bet on Brazil. My calculator tells me that my lay odds are 1.17, however, I did put this together a while ago, so the odds could have changed since then. So it's always best practice to go back to your exchange and find out if the odds have changed. And in my case, they have to 1.15, so I'll just go back to the calculator and make this small amendment. I can then copy the lay stake, Go to my exchange and place the lay bet. You then head back to your ACA calculator, click laid and press save. And now you stop. With accumulators we only place one bet at a time. This is because we need to know the outcome of one event so that we can know what to do for the next one. This is called sequential laying because we lay one bet at a time and is also the reason why we need to ensure that the events don't overlap in time as the second event would have already started before we know what course of action to take. It is very much possible that in this time, something could have happened in the second event that drastically changes the odds, which could see you make a huge loss. I recommend leaving at least half an hour in between the end of each election and the start of the following one, allowing you time to place your bets, and also in case of any delays or injury time. Now, if the first bet wins, click the green tick and move on to the next bet. As you can see, the new lay stake, all that consists of is the old lay stake plus the old liability. Again, when you go to make the, this new lay bet, you need to make sure that your lay odds in your calculator match up against the betting exchange, as they can change over time naturally. If they have changed, update the calculator, place the lay bet, click laid, and press save. Now, due to the possibility of odds changing, I don't recommend using horse racing in accumulator bets as their odds can change drastically over just a short period of time. Football bets are a lot safer as the odds don't change as much. Sometimes odds will shift in your favor, sometimes they won't. This isn't something to really panic about. 
If the odds do shift against you, you should still make a profit as the free bet will offset the loss. Basically, you keep laying until a selection loses. When it does, click the red X and the calculator will tell you to stop laying. You will have recouped your bookmaker and losing lay stakes into the betting exchange minus your qualifying loss. If you are doing a, doing a simple bet and get offer, i.e. bet £25 and get £25 free bet, you are now done. All you have to do is wait for the free bet to be credited and then you can use it to extract your profit. If you have to place the free bet on an acre, repeat the same process as just described and this time select free bet as your bet mode. If you don't have to place it on an acre, it is probably easier to use it on a standard singular bet, although ackers can sometimes squeeze more profit out of the free bet and bookies will love you for doing this as there is less chance of you winning. You can use the acre catcher to find the most profitable ackers to place your free bet on. If you are doing a weekly bet and get, you would just need to repeat the process until you have staked enough money during the period to qualify for a free bet. If you are doing an ACCA insurance offer, you need to keep an eye on the outcome of the remaining selections to see if you qualify for a refund. For example, if the remaining selections win and you have just one losing selection, you will get a refund which in most cases will be in the form of a free bet. Again, you would just need to place and lay the free bet to extract the profit. However, if more than one of your selections lose, you will not gain a refund and you will have just incurred a qualifying loss. The same is true if all of your selections win. Of course, you will not get the refund every time, but over time you will profit from this. If the risk of not hitting a refund is not for you, then you can use a different method to guarantee profits from ACCA insurance offers. Within the match betting world, this is known as a lock-in, as you are locking in profit from the value of the offer. The trade-off is smaller but more consistent profits versus bigger but inconsistent profits when using the normal method. This is done in the exact same way as I've just been through, however this time you need to select refund lock-in and then ensure in the advanced settings that your bonus retention is set to 80% as this is what you can expect to make from the free bet if we receive one. If you make on average more or less than 80%, you should, adjust, you should adjust the figure accordingly. This is because the calculator adjusts your lay stake so that you are laying more than you usually would, guaranteeing profit whether you qualify for the refund or not, using the assumption that you will make a certain percentage back from the free bet. I'll explain this a bit more in a second. However, if we hide the settings, you can now see that this bet is showing as a profit rather than a loss. As before, you keep laying one at a time until you have a losing selection. If you don't have a losing selection, this time, rather than being left with a qualifying loss, you will actually be left with a profit. Let's take this back a few. And this time, if we have a losing selection, you will notice that it doesn't tell us to stop laying. This is because we actually carry on laying at this point, and this ensures that we profit from the offer. If a second selection then loses, the offer is over, and again you have made the profit stated in the calculator. This is because you have overlaid this selection and have won money into the betting exchange. However, if the remaining selections win, you will actually make a loss overall, as you can see here. This is where the percentage that you inputted before is very important. You will get your free bet, and as long as you make your given percentage of the free bet, you will make the profit displayed in the calculator, or more if you make more than the percentage given. So essentially, you make a loss, but then you make it back and more with the free bet. Okay guys, that just about wraps it up for today. Um, just for a quick recap, you now know what an accumulator bet is. You know the types of offers that are available to match bettors. You know how to find and place your accumulator bets, and you also know how to lay them off. If you want to get access to the essential accumulator tools that have been on display in this video, hit the link in the description below and you'll get a free trial to Profit Accumulator where you can make between 40 to 45 pounds when you follow the instructions. If you need any help, do drop a question in the comments below or you can join my Facebook group where I'm helping people to get started with match betting. As a thank you for joining my group, you will also get access to my free profit tracking spreadsheet. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.